The third weak experimental design is called the static group comparison or it is also called the post test only design non equivalent group. So as we can see from the name there are non equivalent group which means that there are two groups involved and the groups are non equivalent and there is only post test given there is no pre test. So the first feature is that both groups are present and therefore the experimental and control group both are present here. Although we have the two groups but these groups are not equated and therefore they are called non equivalent groups. This also means that the groups are not equal based on their abilities or maybe based on different kind of de demographic variables or different kind of other attitudes or performance with which we are interested. The treatment is given in the experimental group while there is no treatment in the control group and then both the groups are post tested. And while obtaining the score on the post test, we can find the effect of treatment. So we can see that there is experimental group present and there is a control group present. The experimental group is given the treatment where the control group is not given the treatment. And after this, the experimental group is post tested, the control group is also post tested. The post test in the experimental group is represented by OE and the post test in the control group is represented by OC. So the effect of treatment can be found by subtracting OC from OE. So we can write effect is equal to OE minus OC. Let's understand this from some example. Showing smoking as to smokers and finding its effect in their attitude towards smoking. So if we want to perform this by the post test non equivalent group designs so how we perform this design that first of all we will show the smoking ads to one group of smokers and then we will find their attitude towards smoking after the ads so this is the post test in comparison we have another group of smokers but this group of smokers is not shown the ad so what we are doing here is that we have two groups of smokers one group are shown the ads and the second group is not shown the ad because the groups are not equivalent, we did not make any effort to make the two groups equivalent. For example, we don't know that the one group of smokers has the smoking frequency. The people who are in the room are the same as the frequency of smoking. In the same way, the other group has the frequency of smoking. So because we do not know about this, we did not take care of this. So maybe one group have people with more high frequency of smoking while the second group have people with lower frequencies so our results will not be comparable we will not be able to find whether the treatment was because of the ads or because of the difference in the two groups so this is one of the serious weakness in this design that the groups are not equivalent so it's difficult to determine if the effect was due to the treatment or due to the difference in the two groups